ever dressed up in an outfit and had the camera right in front of you and you don't know how to pose, you don't know how to look good, feel a little insecure when the camera comes on? Well, that happens to me actually with a still camera. And I think looking good in front of the camera means developing your self-confidence and just letting loose. But I wanted to find out a little more. So I headed to Los Angeles where I talked to celebrity photographer Ash Gupta about how those models do it. How do they feel so sexy and confident? And he spilled those secrets. Let's go check it out. Great to have you back here on Andaz, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure of mine to be on the set, yeah. Many people feel like their passion cannot become a career. It's not lucrative, it's not practical. What advice do you have for those people? I think my advice is your passion should be your career. What it could be better that you can make a buck or two by doing what you will do if you get a chance. You would have been doing that thing. Whenever you're gonna finish your other job, you'll go back to your passion. So you're a prime example of somebody following their passion and doing so well at it. I mean, you have had uh, the whole gamut of celebrities in Los Angeles. Give us a story. My first celebrity in America was uh, Bruce Lee's daughter, oh, wow. uh, Shannon Lee. And finally, I got to know that I'm shooting her for a cover of a magazine. How did that moment it feel? It was tough because I'm like, wow, Bruce, you know? And next morning, I saw her ordinary girl with the jeans and a shirt and she was as nervous for a photo shoot because she never carries fashionable clothes. Yeah. She's a martial artist and a singer, so she just a recording artist. So she was she told me once we became friend that I was equally nervous as you were. Uh -huh. So that went very well. I got to know that uh, is uh, anxiety is both ways same, you know, like they are equally nervous on facing the camera, you know, as we are that shooting them. Yeah, you know, I know that a lot of people probably come to you and they say, Ash, I want you to create the persona of me as a celebrity. What do you do? What's that process? That's called branding. Yeah. yeah. Well, they have to be real because if they're real, if they're not resisting, because if you're not resisting, you're going to be real. Then it's up to me to find the beauty in you, to find the fashion in you, find the style in you because everybody's born with that. Everyone has it, right? Everyone has it. You just, you don't, it's and you just, know how to bring it out. I, yeah. Well, anybody can bring that out. The problem is we know a little better because you're resisting. One part of their brain is always there. How do I look? Let it go. You're looking beautiful. If you're feeling beautiful, if you're worried about that, yes, cameras capturing you worried. Yeah, that's exactly it's what exactly it is. Exactly like what is happening right now. Natural. Yeah. Forget that there's cameras and lights yeah, and everything else around. Right. <laughs> When you're taking a photograph, what inspires you? A lot, a lot. Uh, very intriguing question. Uh, everything about us, like what is our sense of beauty, what is our sense of passion, what is a, uh, our concept of fashion is, what we are passionate about, it all gets decided at very early stages of our life. Yeah. It just started when we had no idea that we are being embossed and marked by these visuals from our childhood. My style is, goes through phases. It exactly goes through what I'm going through. So suppose I'm enthusiastic, I'm snappy, I'm on a mission, it will show in my work. Sometime when I'm stabilized and three months, we just want to go on slow pace because we have shot so much that we have to chew over that. That type of woodwork I generate has a lot of calmness in that. I was shooting in uh, Death Valley and uh, we had no idea that what this place looks like and where we are getting into. We just got excited about a project and we filled five cars with people and clothes and we decided to drive one night. So after six hours that we reached there, our telephone doesn't work because the lowest point on the planet. 
we just realized we are the only people. It was so huge and the visibility was so much. And then all of a sudden, it just turned out to be from fear, like something else comes inside you. You just feel that, wow, you're nothing. You're nobody. This journey itself is very spiritual. That's what they say that you can't cut away from your roots, you know. So it just brings you back to your roots, you know, bare roots. And I think that has become a very spiritual process because people define their own spirituality. You dig deep into yourself to create your art. Oh, sorry, we're talking philosophy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we are. <laughs>